Randy Rosarena, the central figure out there in front of his fans in Randy Land out there in left field. Well, Aaron Savali is going to be a guy that goes out there and really attacks all of the strike zone. That's what he has to do to be successful. Three, two, and that's a strike on the outside edge. The Springer caught looking there on that pitch away from him. So here's Guerrero. He jams Vladdy, but it's going to drop in center for a base hit. A single here for Vladdy, and the Blue Jays get their first hit of the game. There's a big cut from it. Savali gets a strikeout. Guerrero goes. And the pitch is strike three called on the outside corner and another fairly generous call. Yeah, and the thing about Bassett is he is a consistent pitcher. He understands that he's going to have some great innings, going to have some rough innings along the way, but it never really changes his approach. And a swing and a miss. That cutter up that runs away from a right-handed batter. And he got him. Got him to chase a changeup down below the zone. Back to back strikeouts for Bassett. That's going to bring up Randy Rosarena with the bases empty here on Randy Land night out there in left field. Again, the 2 2 and the slow curve to get him. And what a way to start your season if you're Chris Bassett. He just struck out the side here at the bottom of the first. Dalton Varcho leading off the second inning. Boy, a major league pop foul right here. And it's caught by Rortvet, the Rays catcher, their latest addition. Here's Savali to the plate. High chop to the right side. Playing back in shallow right is the second baseman, Lau. Throwing to first to get the slow footed Kirk. 2 2. And that is strike three, bottom of the zone. Here's Kiermaier is caught looking. Chris Bassett back on the rubber. Got him. Cutter up again. The same pitch he used to get Yandy Diaz. And he got him. That cutter up again, this time taken for a called third strike. Speaking of power, here's George Springer. Springer homering and also walking and scoring yesterday. He hits it hard to left field. It is gone. George Springer has homered in each of the first two games of the season. And the Blue Jays have a one to nothing lead. In each of his second at bat of the game. It's almost like he measures the pitcher in the first at bat. And then has a good swing in his second plate appearance. Boy, this was a great swing. Rays come in to hit against Bassett here in the bottom of the third. Then Rorbet with his first plate appearance in a Rays uniform. And there's a line drive base hit, wasting a little time. Single in the center. And the newest Ray has himself a single here. Jose Caballero takes inside and it hit him. And it got him on the back arm. Chopped to short. A little problem there. Out at second and safe at first. A little bobble. And let's see, he was safe at second, I think. Big opportunity here. They're loaded. Nobody out. Brandon Lau. And there's a shot. High and deep to right center. That baby's gone. Touch of all. Grand slam for Brandon Lau. Brandon Lau's fourth career grand slam. And he connects a big blow to give the Rays the four to one lead. Dalton Varsho to step in. Ripped into right a base hit. The first hit of the 2024 season for Dalton Varsho. That was a good swing right there. Alejandro Kirk. The right side toward the line. Palacio, can he get there? He does. Makes a sliding catch. Attack. Barcho's going to advance. And boy, I'll tell you, Palacios did two outstanding things. Number one, he made the catch. And to get a throw away and have it be accurate, it was late. Down to first. Down to Diaz will step on the bag. And that'll do it for Toronto here in the fourth. Isaiah Kinder Falefa leading off. There's a ball shot to right by Kinder Falefa. That's down for a hit. That is his first hit as a Blue Jay. That's a strike call. He gets Vigio looking. Talk about that cutter and how he likes to use it at the top of the zone. This is a little backdoor variety. I think you have to kind of like what you see behind the plate. Ground ball short. Now a year the line one. First base two. Six four three on the double play off the bat of Springer. 0 for two tonight. A strikeout and also reaching at a fielder's choice. Chop deep short long throw by Bichette and Yandy's going to be safe that ball skips by Guerrero and down to second base goes Yandy and the ground ball glove by Guerrero Jr. and from his backside the throw off the glove of Bassett down to third goes 
Yandi Guerrero almost turned in an outstanding play there. Rays lead at four to one. Have Diaz at third and Lau at first, and a Rosarena struck out and reached on an infield single. Ground ball up the middle, base hit over the back. Here comes Yandi in to score. Lau is second, and a Rosarena comes through with a base hit up the middle, chasing home the run, and the Rays have a five to one lead. Palacio draws his second walk of the game that loads the bases. And a ground ball out to second. Biggio has it on to Guerrero and Bassett will end the inning there. The Rays get a run and lead five to one at the end of five. Pitching change for the Toronto Blue Jays. Chris Bassett departs in favor of Wentz Parsons. Two two. There's a base hit in the center. Runner at first base for the Rays. Jose Siri. Runner takes off the throw is not going to be in time. Head first slide and Siri got in there ahead of the throw picking up the stolen base. You can get really aggressive here. And there he goes. Pitches the ball and the throw is not going to be in time. He got in there head first. And away from the tag. Steals second and now third base. He draws the walk. Two men on. Men on the corners now. Jose Caballero now. Ground ball on that side. They go down to second out there. First base safe. The run will score. Siri crosses the plate. And the Rays pick up an additional run. Caballero made contact, got the run home. Here's Vladdy Guerrero Jr., who's always a first baseman. And his second hit of the night. Finds it into left center. A bullet. Absolutely. And a popper foul. Yandy's going to have some room. And that will retire Toronto in the eighth. No runs a hit, and the man left. Now the base is empty for Ben Rortvet. That's a liner and a base hit into center. Rortvet in his Rays debut on for the third time. That's going to be a fair ball off the bat of Caballero. Down beyond the bullpen toward the corner. Rortvet will go to third on the two base hit by Caballero, who wasted no time at all in picking up the two base hit. Yandy Diaz with two men in scoring position. And there's a line drive base hit into center. Rortvet will score. Caballero crosses standing up. And the Rays tack on two more runs, both driven in by Yandy Diaz, and it's eight to one. Jason Adam will be the new pitcher for the race. Savali for six, Davinsky for two. And that hot shot is going to get through Paredes and down into the corner. And Justin Turner is on his way to second with his first hit as a Blue Jay, and it's a double. The ground to the right side, Brandon Lau. Routinely makes that play and over to third goes Turner. Varsho is out number one. Gives it a ride to right. It is playable for Palacios, but Turner can easily tag and come to the score in the sack fly. It's eight to two. Two two. And that's going to do it. Wave and a miss, and the Rays are winners. Kiermaier strikes out against Jason Adams, and the Rays have taken game two of this series. Eight to the final.